suppose when you're a kid, you grow up and you've got your favourite animal or your favourite pet, well mine's a merino sheep, so I'm quite lucky that I get to work with the animal I like the most. We've got about 7,000 acres out here and we run about 20,000 super fine wool merino sheep. Our average micron's about 17 micron. Each sheep, if it's a little factory, is actually producing more of a better product than it used to. The soft wool is very important to us and all the things that are appealing about wool are actually good for wool. The softer they are and the, the whiter they are, the more natural resistance they have to, to the weather. If you look at wool and spend a bit of time looking at it, you'll notice the, the crimp. And the better the crimp and the more even the crimp, the better the wool process and the better it will drape. So when you're sorting them up, that all the things that you look at and you like, well they actually, they've got more meaning than just it's not like art, or I like looking at that art, but there's actual practical reasons for it. And I'll get you to feel the fleeces. There's three fleeces that are off used there. Good wool, you should feel it, and it should make you feel good. And you think, yeah, I want to feel that again. And you could think it's nearly alive. Like, whereas on this other table, there's some off a meat breed. I've borrowed that fleece off a neighbour for the day. Now, I feel that, and you'll think when you, you've heard stories about people buying itchy wool socks and that, all because it's wool doesn't mean it's good. And that's why the wool mark and that started the merino. Because the merino wool is the wool that does all the things that you want it to do. Whereas the other wool, you, you really, it's, it's just a byproduct of the meat sheep. The shearers now shear a lot more sheep, a lot easier, and a lot better than they used to. Like, it's amazing how they thought they knew everything. Whereas now they still get the coaches in and just help them make sure there's no bad habits and look at their gear. And when you're shearing a sheep, it's having gear that doesn't pull when they go through the wool. So it's a real sharp, clean cut. And then having the sheep in a comfortable position. If it's uncomfortable, it'll kick, it'll want to get up. Whereas if you can have it comfortable and not think it can get its legs up, well then they won't kick and, and it makes such a difference to the day that the shearer has too. And the wool handle is now excellent. Like when they grade the wool, it's just purely on wool quality. Now there'll be, some will be shorter, which will process different. Some will have a break in them, which will get a discount for that. Some will have got a bit of color in them. So then we, we remove these bits and you'll find that still got to take the freebie bits off. They'll still make that into clothing. You'll go to a woolen mill and you'll see them. They'll have some beautiful wool and they'll be using some of this. And, and it, just depending on what they're making, it might make it bind better. When I'm classing the ewes, which I go through every ewe, I'm looking at the physicals of the sheep, plus the volume it'll grow as much as the wool quality, because we want to continually be trying to put more wool on. And then we'll have a, your best 10 rams, and you'll know their characteristics, like one will be great big ram that's not as good in the wool. Well, then you go out and you'll find ewes that need a bit of a lift in size, but have got the very good wool. So all the mating's always correcting to a centre spot to try and get better. and, and more even. With the, with the wool, it's all softness, softness. We're always on about the handle of the wool. And if you have a look at his face, if he turns around, it's a soft face. Yeah. Mm, and that, okay. that characteristic you find, what their head is, will reflect what's coming through with the wool a bit too. Your skin can pick up fibres that are over 30 microns. See, this will have fibres down to 8 micron and also it'll have fibres out to about 28 and this one might have 0.2% of its fibres might be over 30 micron but once it gets to 5% of its fibres over 30 micron that's the stuff that you definitely can't wear near your skin. We talk about wool or we talk about different qualities of yarns but the reality is there's lots of qualities within those and I think that's one thing that we all need to take away from it. And the better we can understand that, the better we can ensure that we're providing the best for our customers um, as we continue down. And I think that the traceability is something you, you know, something you know I'm passionate about and the team are passionate about and I think this is a great way we can get a better understanding of where our clothes originate from and, and, and how we bring them to life and you know with the homespun program that we've got coming through in men's and and what we've done already and where we're going um, uh, into next year, that's only going to continue. So um, it's, I think it's exciting times for us. Thank you.